Anticyclones are caused by a period of high pressure. This high pressure is created when the air high in the atmosphere begins to sink towards the Earth's surface. The falling air increases the weight of the air pressing down on the Earth's surface, causing the air pressure to be high. The cold air moves in a clockwise direction towards the Earth's surface. When looking at an anticyclone on a synoptic chart, the first indication we are experiencing an anticyclone is through the high pressure indicated by the high in the center of a synoptic chart. The isobar lines will also have a value on them. Any value greater than 1004 indicates that we are experiencing high pressure. A more commonly seen synoptic chart are those used by the BBC and ITV News. This particular example shows we are experiencing an anticyclone due to the high that is indicated and labelled in the centre of this synoptic chart, as well as the width of the isobars being widely distributed between one another. There are two types of anticyclones. A summer anticyclone, first of all, gives us dry and bright weather, experiencing high temperatures, potentially heat waves, and also clear skies. As the skies are clear due to no clouds, we therefore do not receive any precipitation, rain, hail, sleet, and or snow in a summer anticyclone. On the other hand, during a winter anticyclone, we can experience low temperatures, frost, fog, mist, but also clear skies due to no clouds, and therefore we do not receive any precipitation similar to a summer anticyclone. This is due to the fact that the cold air is descending and traveling towards the Earth's surface, and therefore no air is rising through the process of evaporation. In both winter and summer anticyclones, we can experience a number of impacts. The examples you are seeing on the screen now are BBC News articles of the UK experiencing a summer anticyclone. Unfortunately, as you can see on the screen, we can see that some of the impacts are the fact that the UK is recording higher temperatures than ever before experienced. We also can have other effects such as lightning strikes, heat waves, drought, and therefore a lack of water and drinking water, heat related deaths, and also disruption on transportation such as rail networks. On the other hand, summer anticyclones can also provide us with some positive impacts such as an increase in tourism numbers leading to businesses in various areas gaining more profit and money and therefore economic growth or a deduction in UK residents taking holidays abroad. Winter anticyclones can also bring a number of effects, such as an increase in car accidents due to slippy roads and ice. Farmers may lose crops due to poor weather and frost, and also a disruption to air travel due to unsafe conditions for flying. 